Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the Kathy J Show. I am so happy that you're joining me this half hour. Thank you so much to everybody that hangs out with us and shows us some love on our social media. I love reading what all of you are saying about the Kathy J Show, so keep those comments coming. Also, please subscribe to Kathy J Show at our YouTube channel, as well as kathyjshow.com. My producer makes sure that all of our past shows are up, so if you miss something, you can always catch it right there. All right, everybody, let's get into the show. We have a lot of amazing people on today. Today is a very important day because it's Earth Day, and Earth Day is the only day of the year that I'm going to wear white. <laughs> But there's so many different and easy ways out there that all of us can help this beautiful planet stay beautiful. And we'll get into a few more details in just a few minutes, but I just wanted to start off with a few examples of my own that I've learned over the years. Now, if you guys have gone and gotten your car emissions done, I know that you've probably seen yours truly on a video there. I got to drive around for a whole day with uh, Channel 9's Ed Green as well as my girl Jamie White from the radio and we did it for Simple Steps Better Air. So it was about carpooling and so the three of us were just driving around through the day. We went and got, um, I think we went to the dry cleaners. The whole time though Ed Green kept telling us, well you know the ozone and this and that and I just remember at one point Jamie White said, wow you must be really fun at parties. <laughs> and I just died. So um, that was like my first introduction to, oh, you can actually group your errands together. That makes a huge impact on helping the environment. Another good idea, you gotta pick that one day a week to run the errands, which we just talked about, but working from home. My producer was trying to get me to win this one, but I was ah. she's like, she goes, Kathy, working from home has more perks than just wearing sweatpants. We can help the environment. And I was like, no, nah, we're not gonna do that here. But thanks, Colleen. <laughs> but you know what? Think about it. Maybe you can convince your boss. Just a couple days a week, I could work from home and we could all cut down on the air pollution together. Good luck, let us know if it works for you. <laughs> and you know what, one other thing that you could do, protect yourself and your community by switching to electric. I'm talking the cars, I'm talking the power tools and so on. All of this will lead to lower rates of asthma. Think about it everybody asthma, respiratory illness, and hospital visits brought on by our air pollution. Now I'm going to show you some amazing electric yard tools here in a little bit and we're going to have a lot of fun. But first I want to move on to some community events that are happening in the area in case you want to get in Earth Day and maybe shred a bunch of stuff everybody. There's a lot of shred-a-thons happening. Free paper shredding and electronic recycling event is actually happening tomorrow at Newton Middle, I'm sorry, Newton Middle School in Littleton from 9.30 a.m. to 1.30. There's also a lot of shredding events happening in Jefferson County and Denver County. Really, just do a quick search on the internet and you're going to get so much information on shred-a-thons. And for everybody out there, one last thing, if you're spring cleaning, don't forget that ARC, ARC Thrift Stores is celebrating Earth Day all year long because they're one of the state's largest recyclers. They keep millions of pounds of clothing out of our landfills every year thanks to all of your donations and how they recycle them. Drop them off, drop off your stuff at any of their stores, 15 locations. All right, everybody. So um, I just want to say we've only scratched the surface of how we can really reduce our carbon footprint. So after this quick break, we're gonna come back with Ikea, who the Kathy J set is Ikea set, everybody. And they just came and gave us a little spring refresh and I love it. But when we come back, we're gonna talk to them about how they reduce, reuse, and recycle. We'll be right back. Kathy J. Oakwood Homes is an official partner of the Kathy J Show. Oakwood Homes, building happiness. <laughs> Welcome back to the Kathy J Show, everybody. So today we are celebrating all things Earth Day. And our friends at Ikea, yay, everybody. This is Megan <laughs> with Ikea. Um, they, they've really got some really cool things down when it comes to recycle, reuse. Um, and so we want to share them with you. And Megan, you're mm. our, I love you. You're our loyalty manager. You, the set is beautiful. Thank Everything you. you do for us Ooh. over the years is beautiful. I didn't mean to drop your No, earth. that's my gift to oh, you. You're giving me an it's, earth? Yeah, all the little kids at Ikea will receive a, a little Earth Day pod. I love that. So we're wearing it as our flair and then it's also repurposed. So and that's this tomorrow. This for tomorrow we have our event for Earth Day which we're kicking off at 11 a.m. So. It's awesome. Now yeah. you guys are all about it. Mm -hmm. um, now let's start with one of the things that you say is always good. Potted uh, plants. I mean potted plants. Yeah. So um, it's not just for Earth Day but we've got a special event right now for IKEA family members. Um, when you buy one of these uh, plants you, it's 50% off. 
and uh, we've got the plastic uh -huh. recycled. I like that. that they come in. Parts. Okay. So there's nothing that is unused or so. No. Yeah. I love Beautiful. your plants. Fifty percent off. That thing's gonna be like two dollars with your, your prices please at IKEA. Please don't ask me how to say the name, though. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I um. always like to quiz her on the IKEA <laughs> names. Do you know how to say that? No. Okay. So your your plant your plant Nipon. labels also have really cool water drop guidelines. They do. So we have. Um, so everything is shows on the tag how to how much water you put in there. Um, all of our plants are indoor only, so please don't put them outside because they will fry. Good to but know. But they need minimal water. So I, like I brought that. in um, a couple of the watering cans and the sprayer. That's all you need once a week. And when you're feeling sad, if you're not pet, pupping it. <laughs> Petting a dog, you can give your plant a little spray. You so know what? They react to happiness, yes, so give them a little yeah, bit of your love. Give them some love. So we have um, a free uh, make and take event that, again this weekend in the store. And uh, don't forget to bring your reusable bag. Oh, because yeah. Because we do not sell plastic bags. No, we you have, don't. I always yes. forget that. I'm like, oh, I have a lot of stuff to carry yeah, out now. Yeah. But um, you got to remember. Okay. So that's a reminder. Recycle. I mean, you reuse mm -hmm. the glass. We reuse our glass. So I wanted to bring these in huge. for you because I know you're a huge fan and portion control. Yeah. So I'm these learning. Are for you, girl. I'm learning portion um, control. <laughs> so we're learning portion control. But these are an alternative to the IKEA 365. They're called Bestama. Uh huh. And um, so, yeah. But another good thing about this is you don't waste the food because you can see it. Yes. It's, and you they, know what you got in the fridge. And these go hot to cold real fast because they're cold, glass. Take the lid off. Um, you can save them in the freezer, in the refrigerator, microwave once you've taken the lid off. Yeah. Um, and eat out of it. And eat out of it. So, Speaking of eating. Yeah. All right, everybody. Um, go ahead. Explain. So the Swedish meatballs are famous at IKEA. Okay. So the hero of the show is uh, this weekend is our plant bowl. Uh -huh. um, all of our plant-based uh, uh, meats shall I say, 20% uh, off to take home. Okay. Or you can buy yourself. Oh, you're doing it, girl. Yeah, girl. okay. Get going, sister. <laughs> so Get going. Taste. We're going for it. Yeah, keep um, going. We're going to try the plant bowl we're not going to try the plant before. So I'm not even going to tell you. What All right. You're yeah, I was going to say you can't tell me. Why so would you know? We are now okay. about to try your. You're going to give head. me your normal, your normal Swedish meatball versus the plant meatball. Yeah. So okay. you don't know what you're trying first. Okay, go for it. All righty. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm very trusting of her. Mm-hmm. Mm. What's mm. the profile? What do you taste? I'm tasting the yummy flavors mm -hmm. of the meatball and. I'm tasting. Do you need a sip of water? No, I need some gravy on it. I <laughs> yeah, wish I was do. at IKEA right now. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Hang on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where's the wire? I'm giving you half of one. Hang on. I got a water in my I'll plant. Give you a Hang on. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Isn't there water in the plant? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, those meatballs are good. I don't know which one that was, but that was good. Give me another one. <laughs> okay. Here. There it is. Mmm. Um. Ooh. Mmm. Different. Okay. Okay. All right, which was which? I'm going to tell you this. Both seasoned deliciously. Both have the same texture. Everything is right. But this one, the last one you gave me was the plant. There we go. Awesome. But, Thank you. Wow, those meatballs wow, are so good. Wow, you are an Ikea fan. I know. I am an Ikea fan. <laughs> Get me some gravy yes. in there. All right, so those, everybody. Those are Huda Val. I love you. Thank you, mm. so, thank you so much. I'm so sorry I have to talk with food in my mouth. Yep. Tell me about your event tomorrow really fast again. So come join us. We're doing Earth Day event for uh, Ikea family members that have extra perks, but you're going to learn everything about sustainability, how to take care of the planet, and what Ikea does for the community. And you can't so, beat that affordable price yeah. at Ikea. Ikea.com. All right, coming up next, everybody. We're going to go electric. I can't wait. Mow down pollution this summer. We'll be back. Thank you. Kathy J. The Colorado Lottery is an official partner of the Kathy J. Show. Colorado Lottery, play on. Kathy J. Oh, this is going to be good, everybody. Welcome back to the Kathy J. Show. I'm so happy that you're joining us this half hour as we celebrate Earth Day. Did you know, did you know, that actually, you can actually improve air quality and be kind to our planet when doing your yard work, everybody. In fact, running a gas-powered mower for just one hour creates as much pollution as driving from Pueblo to Fort Collins. It's a little tip Mike gave me over there. And you know what? It's an easy way to reduce this carbon footprint just by changing over to electric yard and garden equipment, everybody. So here to tell us more about it, we got Mike Silverstein, yay! And we have Andy from Ace Hardware, yay! All right, so the fastest growing trend, Mike, in Colorado is electric powered yard work. Tell us all about it. It is. Going electric is great for, for mowing your lawn. Yes. It's efficient, but it's 
excellent for our air quality and our climate. Yes, right. So you also are with the Regional Air Quality Council. Right. So it's your job to make sure that our air is good and we have so you're part of the bad air days we get the red notice that's part no, of that's, that's you that's yeah us. okay so how do you even measure all of that what do you i mean what do we do that helps that how are you measuring our air quality well there's monitors out in the uh in the community that measure our summertime ozone and other pollutants as well throughout the year yeah and so when the the levels start to approach the air quality standards we issue those alerts or if we forecast that the weather conditions are conducive for the pollutants to build up. We also issue that alert and then we ask people to do something. Yes, and do something is do something electric, right? And right. right, stay home is usually because you don't want us out on the roads if we don't have to be with that kind of pollution, but electric is the way to go everybody. So, this program mow down pollution this summer. Right. Tell us about it. Well, mow down pollution is our effort to get folks to go electric. Yeah. Get rid of those old gas-powered mowers, trimmers, blowers, whatever it is, yeah. and go electric. And so we're working with Ace Hardware this year and we're providing vouchers, $150 off a mower, sign up, recycle an old mower first, get a voucher from us on uh -huh. our website, mowdownpollution.org, and then go to an Ace Hardware with your voucher and get that $150 off. No, and that's wonderful, getting $150 off. Now, Andy, this is where you come in. You know what a lot of people are saying, no electric mower is gonna get my grass good. <laughs> Talk to us about this. Well, the one thing about, <laughs> about this, I converted to electric three years ago, and these mowers are no compromise. This is actually a better performing product than a gas mower. Why? It is just phenomenal. You have way more torque. Yeah. You never have to worry about starting it. You don't have to change the gas. You don't have to change the oil. You have no smell. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I just There's guessed. There. I just guessed that's how we did it. <laughs> and, this I'm going to try it again. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, Dug yeah. it out. This is the top of the line Ego mower. Yeah. There are actually three different ones of these. They Howdy start neighbor. at about two sixty nine. dollars See, and, and you can hear. And then this one is running about five forty nine dollars after the rebate uh, yeah, that you get when you trade in your old gas mower. And these things are phenomenal. They use a common battery system like this, the yeah. Ego battery system. They work on all the tools. So Look Mike's actually holding a blower. Yeah. And then this is the mower. And these will mow, uh, the, the entry level one will mow for 45 minutes continuously. This one will actually mow for 60 minutes. Yeah. So my yard out in Lakewood, no problem. You, you can handle the entire yard, no problem oh, on a single no, it's, charge. You're absolutely right, Andy. My husband actually has one of these. <laughs> yeah, you said he mows it's at 6, 6 in the morning. In the morning. Yeah. And he has headlights. Yes, and I know. Now that I know, and, and his nickname is Mr. Efficient because he's m very efficient. So he finds 6.30 in the morning to mow the lawn is awesome. You heard, you guys just heard his mic over the lawnmower. So you're not going to hear it outside yeah. in the morning. But you know what? Andy, tell me about the Eagle line of products. There's more of them than just this. Blow me. Give me, give me this, give me this. <laughs> <laughs> Up here, not down there. Okay, that's Hang on, wait till the camera comes back on. I'm not wasting that. Do it again. That looks good. Go here, yeah, yeah, do it again. No, you got to do this. You got to hit me with this. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's one so that, too. There is a full it's a line. Day. <laughs> it's a dog. I said it was going to be very windy today. <laughs> but that's, yeah, that's going to definitely clear the leaves. Tell us more about the product line. There is a full line of products. So pretty much anything you need to do in your yard, from <laughs> from the leaf blower to the mower to a trimmer, uh -huh. right, to a chainsaw, oh. all the tools, right? So, you know, what we're really trying to do this year with the uh, RAQC, the Regional Air Quality Councils, yes. get, take take one step, right? Get your mower this year. Yeah. And then, you know, over the next few years or even later this season, pick up another couple tools and get rid of all those gas bar tools. Because Mike was saying that uh, running a two cycle engine is even worse, right? What did you say? It it's, is. It's it half is. as much pollution as right. the cars, right? Well, all our lawn and garden equipment is about half of what all the vehicles yeah. emit. Are you summer. serious? Yes. I didn't know this either. I didn't, are you serious? Lawn and garden is half of the vehicles. All those cars running around right. all day long. <laughs> half of Just it. our lawn and garden equipment, the commercial operators, the public, you know, golf yeah. courses and city parks and 
and our home use yeah. is half of what cars emit. So go electric and really makes a difference. And you don't and sacrifice performance at all. Like my chainsaw is just as good as my old gas chainsaw. Yeah, right. right. That's what I need to hear. Performance yeah. is just as yeah. good. And you yes. don't smell like fuel. That's why I was saying. My, when you're done. Yeah, yeah. my husband yeah. doesn't. I, I now I'm safe. safe. He's not breathing in everything that was exactly. going out there, everybody. Okay. So the big event happening tomorrow. Right. So we're doing a trade-in event tomorrow at Mile High Ace and Garden. Yeah. This is at 104th and Federal. Yes. There are other sites you can recycle at, but this event tomorrow is going to be really exciting. It's going to be great. So there are still vouchers available, get so you can you can go on and get vouchers if you bring your gas mower tomorrow to Mile High Ace and Garden at 104th and Federal. Yep. I think they're serving some food up there too. Uh, whatever. I, there's yeah, a big dumpster. It's, it's kind of crazy. Recycle those right. old lawnmowers. But now. there's 38 stores in town that yeah. are all offering the deal on the mowers. That's throughout, a good throughout deal. Throughout the summer. Yeah, throughout okay. the summer. Right. Now, Mike, before I let you go. <laughs> yeah! Um, real fun. fast, uh, the skip two things. Tell everybody what that means real fast. Right. Skip two. Yes. That's just our challenge to, to get folks to, to do something to improve air quality. So skip two trips a week. Skip two trips if it's to work, if it's to the store. You know, get on a bike, walk, get on that electric train. Yeah, uh, it, it makes a big difference. Anything we can do to skip two, and that is a really personalized way to improve our environment. Thank you, Mike, from Regional Air Quality. Thank you, yes. thank you, Andy, from Ace Hardware. We'll be right back, everybody. Ramos Law is an official partner of the Kathy J Show. He's a medical doctor and a lawyer. Ramos Law, what makes us different makes us better. Welcome back to the Kathy J Show. Happy Earth Day, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with us this half hour. Right now, we've got two amazing ladies who have created delicious energy bars that are not only good for you, but the environment and so much more, everybody. For them, Earth Day is about local sourcing, giving back to the community, and sustainability. Everybody, please welcome Casey and Sabina to the show yeah. of Bite Bars. <laughs> All right, ladies, so you are some Colorado girls. We went to Boulder, yes. and you're athletes. Yes. And you hated the bars that you were eating, right? Yes, something like that. Hate might be too strong of a word, but... <laughs> okay, um, you disliked. Yeah. They were gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we both grew up as female athletes, kind of eating all the energy bars. It's such an easy, on-the-go snack. Yeah. Um, in our 20s, you start to realize how important nutrition and putting the right fuel in your body is. So we realized none of the bars out there were good enough. And yeah. we started making our own in the kitchen. And then we were just too good. We had to share with the world. I did. We had to share with the world. <laughs> okay, now who's the who's the cook? I didn't mean to drop that. Who's no the cook? Um, well, Casey came up with the first recipe mm -hmm. in the kitchen: five simple ingredients in a food processor. Look at that! Um, and then we worked with a food scientist to make that um, recipe shelf stable. And now we have four wonderful flavors. You, and you yeah. do okay. I just had the peanut butter bite bar. I mean, this is delicious. Yeah, Thank like it's, it's really peanut butter like, to the point where I'm like, water from the plant. Where's my water from the plant? Um, but they, you guys just launched in August of 2019. Yes. And so you're really trying to, this is really good. <laughs> Tell me what I get when I eat this bar. Is this my meal replacement bar? Is it a after you workout bar? What do you like to use the bars for? Yeah, it's not a complete meal replacement. Some people use it as that. Mm -hmm. um, if they like to intermittent fast, it's a good little snack on the go, um, quick fuel, easy access. But the big thing is you probably you, your protein and everything that you put in, right? Yes. Like that's always a big thing. So this is our Ooh. first protein bar, the Lemmy Raz. It's nut free, which is good for the peanut okay, allergy Try this people. one too, okay. Um, it has 11 grams of plant protein, nine grams of fiber. Um, no that is lemony. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, it makes I you feel like you're, you're cheating. <laughs> like, yeah, ooh, this is yummy. Okay. So, so, yeah, they're all like sweet treat replacements, kind of. So, they're like. How did you come like, up with the name Bite Bars? What does it stand for? Yeah, so when we were making them in the kitchen, we were using a tablespoon. And so, it was originally B I T E. And then we were just having dinner with a friend. And he said it'd be way cooler if it was B Y T E. Um, and now we're using the slogan "Be Yourself Today Every Day" as our little bite acronym. I love that. Be yourself today every day because that is very true. I love that you called the swaggy sampler. Yes. <laughs> you guys like have had fun cool. coming up with your with your names and stuff. I totally dig this. Yes. So, what is the future of Bite Bars? Where are we going from here? Yeah, so we have big plans for bite bars. Um, we were just accepted onto the shelves at King Supers. Yay! Yeah, congratulations! Yeah. yeah, so that's our big first supermarket. Um, and we're kind of just going to expand the product line. We want to add 
two more to our protein line. Yeah. Um, expand with Whole Foods. We're in all the Whole Foods markets in Colorado, so we want to move south and then west and then globally. I know. I love that. Congratulations <laughs> on your drive and that you guys are making this happen. This is really cool. So it, you also, a big thing about you is the sustainability and giving back to the community and locally sourcing. Why? Definitely. Yeah. So I think um, personally and then just as a brand, Sabina and I really value sustainability. Um, it's one of our core values. All of our bars are 100% vegan, and there's been lots of research about the positive impacts of the vegan diet on yes. the planet. It can save water, reduce carbon emissions. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we learned uh, on Monday when Hungry Planet was here. I had no idea how much water it takes to do a hamburger patty versus just a plant-based vegan patty. Like, it's amazing, the gallons of water wasted. So I totally get that. So everybody, you can go to bitebars.com, B-Y-T-E bars.com is where you can find yeah. Casey and Savina. But also, just head over to your local Whole Foods or King Supers. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you to Regional Air Quality for being here. Thank you to Ikea. Everybody out there, find a Shred-a-thon and do what you can to make our planet more beautiful. Have a great day.